It's all about running yellow lights and breaking radar guns. That's right, we're talking sports cars. From the sleek and stylish... Anyone that saw it, even if you knew nothing about cars, was like, wow, what is that? A panel of 100 experts ranked our rides using three criteria. Stats, innovation, and legacy. General Motors realized that Ford was really killing it with the Mustang. They said, we have to come up with a performance vehicle to offset that, to take away the business, to bring our customers back to us. We named our daughter Shelby, and a lot of people go, oh, after the Mustang. She goes, no, after the man. Carol Shelby was a wonderful dude. When the Lamborghini Countach first came out, everyone was talking about it. A Lamborghini is a whole other animal. It was designed for Italians. Short legs, long torso. If you're built differently, you may not find yourself being very comfortable in these cars. And even thinking of like James Bond, any Aston Martin that he drove goes up in value. Yeah. There's one thing that drives me crazy is when people say Porsche. It is Porsche. There's a guy named Porsche. It's not up for debate. It was sexy. There was so much passion in that vehicle, and anyone that saw it, even if you knew nothing about cars, was like, wow, what is that? The first Corvette came out, and it blew people away. They were all white, and it had an engine called the Blue Flame, which is a very small engine and not enough power. They've always been a part of history, and they always will be. And as long as they don't make an SUV out of it, they're seriously talking about making the Corvette an SUV. Supposedly, it's in the works. Don't wreck a brand. These vehicles are really just a piece of history, and everybody has a Mustang story. April 17th, 1964, Ford brought out the Mustang. They brought it to the World's Fair. They knew it would be popular. They called it the Secretary's Car, but they didn't realize it was going to turn into a whole historic, significant car. To give you an idea how successful it was, in a one-year period, they sold 650,000 cars. That's a lot of cars. But they sold so many that it inspired GM to say, whoa, we didn't think this was going to be this big. So they came up with the Camaro as quick as they can. And you could see people scrambling to produce competitive cars because the Mustang was selling not just as a six-cylinder, but also sold as a V8. People were finding what they wanted. Steve McQueen showed that, that vehicle could go through those San Francisco streets pretty much it felt like on two wheels, but you could really see its capabilities. The 60s Charger is really the greatest of all time. Liar! How about the Dodge Viper didn't make the list? 